okay, you set up your pop-up on your website or you know you have something embedded on a different page, people are signing up, or so you think, but they are not entering your welcome flow, they're not getting enough of your emails, something's funky and you figured out there's some type of double opt-in happening. So what you need to do for this is to go into the list that your pop-up, your form, wherever your leads are coming into, you want to go into the list it feeds into. So in most cases and in most accounts, it's going to be the newsletter list here. So in that newsletter list, head on over to settings and consent. And then down here, you're going to find double opt-in and sorry, it's cut off right there, but single opt-in. You want to go ahead and select single opt-in and save. The tricky thing is you kind of have to remember to do this for every new list you build. So if you build a new pop-up, going to a new list, you build up a new landing page with a lead magnet, whatever it might be, you want to double check the list settings and turn off double opt-in if you want to. There's a benefit to keeping it on, which is it keeps your list ultra clean. Like only the most pristine contacts are going to click again to say, yes, keep emailing me. On the flip side, not a lot of people catch that they were just emailed this double opt-in and then they just miss it. Like they would be engaged on your list, but they just never saw the double opt-in in their inbox to actually double opt-in. So typically with most of my clients, I'll turn that feature off. If there's deliverability issues, I recommend to keep it on. Hopefully that helps. Bye.